Welcome, welcome everybody. Really excited today. <clears throat> Just give us a moment as we get started. I'm gonna do a little mic check for the speaker today. How you doing? Doing well. That's great, it's awesome. Thank you. Uh, can you hear me very well? Yeah, loud and clear. Absolutely. I also gave, uh, I, I also gave, uh, I believe Iran, uh, hit, speaker privileges but uh i'm not sure if it gave it to him twitter's been really weird the last few weeks but <clears throat> i'm just glad that i have you here and codex I'm, I'm 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 really excited to get into it because normally no matter how prepared i am or unprepared i am for for what's about to come i do a lot of research and i can really understand it but after doing so much research and understanding what you guys are building i was just so excited to kind of dive into it so i was just like they're doing stuff in the space that no one else is doing and utilize it the proper way. So I'm just really excited. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I believe uh, Andrea will tap in as well. Uh, he's uh, the CEO. Yeah, I got him. I got him as speaker. Uh, he'll, he'll be listening in if he wants to comment in or, or chime in at any time. He knows he, he can. He knows to interrupt me. We, we, we've met a few times. He's, you know, real privilege to have him here. And it's really awesome to have him, you know, at your guys' side overall, because anything I, Bullpark's touch is usually a gold. So I'm just excited to have you guys working together and, you know, get getting to where you guys are ready to have a successful launch. Because I believe not only a great product, a great team, but a proper execution is what makes a winning, you know, a, a launch overall. So so I'm definitely excited to have you guys here. So if you're if you're ready, I wouldn't mind kicking off with opening statements, and then we can kind of just shoot off into the questions. You re are you ready? Sorry, I don't want to get you off guard, but just want to make sure you're prepared. Um, yes. Uh, wait a second for Andrea to be the speaker. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no problem at all. Just have him request, uh, if I can't find his name, uh, put his hand up and then I'll find him. I believe he already requested to be the speaker. And what did you say his name was? Uh, Andre requested to be a speaker. Uh, do you mind to accept? And what did you say his name was? Uh, Andrea Bello. Andrea Bell. Andrea Bell. Uh, Andrea. Yeah, I really can't. I can't understand what you're saying. You're, you're kind of breaking it's the up. La it's uh, the last one, Andrea. Andrea, thank you.
So I, yeah, I'm not sure of the issue because I've invited him like four times, and it, it either he's not accepting it or Twitter's not giving it to him. Andrea Bell, yes. Hi everybody. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, but your connection is a little bad. But I think that's probably what the issue was. Was we were just having delay on the request. No problem. Now we are good. You, you have a little bit of background noise, a little fuzz, but I mean, I, I can hear you clearly overall. So if you were, are you ready to start? Well, I'm ready to go. Okay, guys, I think we are ready if you guys want to start. All right. Just double checking his, double checking his uh, connection as well, you know, to hear everything. But, yeah, it's no problem. I'll go ahead and start with opening uh, statements, and then we'll get into some questions. So, first off, I want to thank you guys for coming here today. I really do appreciate, uh, the, you know, the team, everybody showing up and, and, and going through all the difficulty here. But, uh, as always, crypto miners, buckle up and get ready to blast off and to code. I'd say through the code barrier and to supercharge your Web3 development, not only with what the tool set that Codex chain has built, but the entire ecosystem on how it actually works and synonymous with each other. Forget spending months buried in lines of code, you know, forgetting things or having mistakes and end up just causing a lot more pain trying to go back and fix things. Codex has simplified a lot of that and it has a bigger suite for easy accessibility for developers new and seasoned. So I'm just really excited. Like, like I was telling you, I've done, it was weird. I, I usually do tons of research on a product and it's, and I easily understand everything about it. And obviously Codex is not hard to understand, but the depth of it is something that you will constantly go back and read it because you're learning more about what the tools can do for you and, and your development skills as you learn. Because I know I'm not a huge developer, so I got to keep going back and forth. But having something to help you in the background kind of just ease that access is a huge thing. So without you know further ado, I would love for you to introduce yourself, maybe a couple of core team members um, that helped you know bring this whole ecosystem together and, and kind of give us a little, uh, like just a small overview before we get into the utilities on what the vision and how the inception came of Codex Chain. Because I, I know that having what you guys have and, and everything that I, I've read is an exciting kind of development, especially coming into the, the bull market coming up with uh, the influx of new people hopefully coming in. This is going to be setting you guys, I think, way ahead on ease of access or user friendly, you know, accessibility to the to the ecosystem overall. So I would love for you to just give us a little introduction and then uh, give us a little overview. I appreciate it, though. Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you very much, crypto miners, and especially big thanks to Bull Perks and Iran to give this space. Uh, we are very much honored to be here, guys. For real, thank you for all of the support and so many audiences here. So yeah, um, myself is Ika. I'm the CMO and co-founders of Codex, and with me is uh, Andrea Bello. He's the CEO and co-founders of Codex. So there's two of us here. And what we are building is all in one, no code like I powered for Web3 mass adoption. And myself, my background is there's nothing related to technical or engineering, it's pure business marketing partnership. Meanwhile, my partner here covering my weaknesses, which is about technical and coding side or programmatic. And his background mostly spending time with technology, coding, program as well. He has background in business and startup as well. Andrea, uh, would you like to uh, jump over? Sure. Um, so um, basically, my background is tech and business together. Because uh, people like my co-founder Ika uh, have a great idea, but have a problem to execute with the existing tools. So uh, the idea we 
bring together is creating a, a way for simplify the life for every builder in the world. So creating tools where you don't need to understand coding, but just describe your idea and generate the code related. So this always burns what we are doing. Thank you so much. Well, that's awesome. And for the masses is literally going to save not only the people coming in a lot of time, but a lot of headaches on people staying in the ecosystem. Because I know that, th that that's kind of what crypto kind of has a problem with overall is even after the bull run settles and there's still action going on and market going on, it's hard to retain the overall uh, you know, uh, people, you know, that are, are investors or, or just community members overall into the ecosystem after the, you know, the major bull run. And I think that, you know, having something like this where people can not only, you know, build serious stuff, but also kind of mess around with using prompts and everything to kind of understand how you can build something kind of unique in the space, you know, because I, I always say this, like, you can have a few hundred people start to create some stuff and you can make magic. But when you have millions of people testing stuff, you really get the creativity to come out because people would start, you know, utilizing obviously more variables over time. And it, and I think like having a whole of a suite where you could do prompts to actually generate, you know, that type of code and, and, and or D apps is kind of something that's been missing. I, I think a lot of the, a lot of the things out there that say it's no code ends up being much more of a clunky headache overall because it wasn't a full out thought built ecosystem. And obviously if, you know, my, my community members have taken the time to go do some research, um, obviously uh, they, they would see that you guys have built an entire ecosystem built around ease of access to development tools for that, you know, and I, and I de definitely see that. And I'm, and I'm hoping that everybody right now takes the time to jump in uh, to the Rise of Socials and your website and check it out because I got, actually got lost in how depth information I was getting into but i wasn't confused i'm not trying to say like i was i was actually just deep diving into it and kind of understanding how i can utilize this myself to not only you know possibly build something because I've, i'm interested too but i've never really had the time and effort to go learn all the intricates of solidity and, and it, it could be time consuming so definitely like that and I, I would love to kind of you know get a little bit of uh, uh of the understanding of the utilities and the ecosystem and how they all kind of work together Yeah, so uh, actually, before that, I'd like to add something, uh, like you said, right? Technical is very hard. And this is actually uh, the story behind Codec itself is uh, started because of my problem that I face in daily activities. Because think about it, like, when trying to turn my cool ideas into reality, especially when we're speaking about Web3, is everything about technical thing and i believe there's not only me that have this problem but as well many people with great ideas are so stuck because they you know like most of people they don't have such a fortune or privilege to have enough of money to build the team or having a technical skill and then i realized that the existing tools that exist is not really helping the users like me who face the challenge like for example, not having enough funding or time or struggling to find the right team and so on. And this is why there's a huge gap between, you know, like uh, I believe between a Web3 space, like uh, users uh, and then the ecosystem itself, because the technical side is difficult for me, at least for someone who do not have the technical background. And this is exactly why um, you know my co-founders who has a technical background decided to create the solution so we want to make web3 something that everyone could use even if you're from a web2 users you don't even need to understand what is blockchain and this can be bridged between these gaps between the web2 web3 as well the users and its ecosystem or technology itself and the goal was to simplify the complicated world of web3 development because we believe that technology should not be hard to understand the hardest part for my co-founder andrea was to making the development process easy to use for those without a technical background but we did it 
because with Codex, we make a technical accessible to everyone. And it's not just for someone that have a technical background as well, someone who do not have the knowledge of a technical. So we want to empowering everyone to be part of Web3 Revolution. Just because imagine if you are, you know, if you can actually building your D app, game, smart contract, website within less than five minutes without any single line of code. And the thing is like with Codex, you can do whatever you want because it's all about uh, your creativity. So don't limit yourself because the only thing that can limit you is yourself. So just explore your creativity. So that's just an additional point. I actually love that. That's actually huge because that's kind of what I was touching on, but you even expanded it more. You kind of really kind of just put the juice you know, into it right there. And I really hope that everybody really understood what you were saying and how easy and accessible that was you guys brought obviously stuff, to, and I believe in the same way. Obviously, when I was reading your guys' information and doing my research, I fell in love with your technology because that was my pain point, 100% same pain point. I come from you know, a, a decent knowledge background in technology, but only at an understanding level, right? I'm not no developer, and I, there's some high-end developers out there. You know, but I've always, I have some creative ideas myself, but I've never had the like, same funding to just put tens, fifty, you know, $50,000 into a project just willy-nilly, but this is obviously going to give that access to those underserved people or even those people that have really creative ideas but just don't know how to, to execute them the pathway. You know, I, I really do love it, and I, I can't stress that more that I hope that my community right now and other communities that are, that are seeing you guys being developed right now come in and start utilizing the ecosystem because, like I was saying, just those bright ideas can spark something just revolutionary. I mean, how, how do you think crypto eventually has gotten to where it's gotten now is by creative people coming and sparking that next level technology, that birth of something. And, and obviously AI trending real hard and the no code is really pushing, you know, the whole narrative around the world. And so I really believe that what you guys are pushing and what what, what that technology is already going, I think it's a, it's a no brainer that you guys are gonna have a huge, uh, you know, a, a plethora of ecosystem and communities coming in. And I, and I really think that, you know, developers are going to, you know, seasoned developers are going to come over because they're, they're probably have ideas that they've been trying to develop, you know, with, with developable technology and have been hindered, you know, so I, I can just see there's going to be a lot of scalability and growth within, you know, Codex and within this ecosystem. So definitely love that you commented on that and really put a real big approach to that idea because I, I, I think that's a huge problem in most of the ecosystem is how hard it actually is to understand even stuff that's already built. You know, a new user coming in doesn't understand DeFi for nothing. So having something that's going to give them from the ground floor in infrastructure level understanding and ease of access is going to be a huge plus. So definitely love that. Sorry, just taking a drink of water before I continue. But yeah, if you want to continue with uh, maybe a little bit about uh, the, you know, the ecosystem's utilities and, and how they function and how there's, you know, kind of how like you were basically touching on it. Um, how, how would a new user right now come into the ecosystem and start utilizing your utilities? Sure, I think Andrea is the best person to uh, speak about, um, you know, the platform itself. Yes, sure. Okay. So basically, Codex providing uh, coding tools with AI support. So what we have some beta tests where you can actually use a scan to code. Basically, scan to code, you can uh, just give any kind of image or screenshot and will generate in automatic a full working code. What does it mean? Including HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So you can provide uh, the image or you can screenshot the website you like and we will replicate directly and it will be a starting point for building application. The second we have is the token generation. So you can generate smart contract with just providing information about the name and the utility. And with just simple click and uh, 30 seconds for deploying, you have your smart contract working directly in your wallet address. We have uh, coming soon the NFT uh, studio, so we will uh, partnership a working with uh, some plugin like Canva plugin for integrated build over Canva your uh, design and your codex, uh, your designed image 
or you can use image generator or image modifier. And after you just simple deploy your NFT collection in two click. Uh, and the last point will come is the, the app marketplace. So when you build any kind of marketplace, we'll just go in our uh, uh, community marketplace where people can access to the, the app and start to use, or, can, or they can replicate. And all of these will be uh, built in or Eero product will be Codex GPT. So in Codex GPT, you can build any kind of application, website or game, just input uh, with a text what you want, describe, and the, the AI will produce the code and the live preview until you like the product. All the time you can interact and modify until you like the final result. So that's coming soon okay so obviously i have a, a couple comments on all that that's amazing first off because that is I, i'd never even heard of that i like the first thing you said where you can screenshot something and then you bring it over and it will then translate your image into what you want basically similar obviously not not full copyright but just being able to do that is just insanely an, an achievable feat obviously your guys's coding or development or you and your team is that's phenomenal I, I can't even think of how much work you guys had to do in the background over the last you know said amount of months or years you know to, to be able to build something like that but that's just amazing to be able to have something that can recognize that and then build it around that and that's amazing because obviously i knew that you know you were going to do prompts for the, the you know the smart contract and the building um you know overall that, that i figured that's how that would go but just you know really just you, I hope my community grasps the power that is that where you can take a screenshot of something and then build your website, you know, around that is it, amazing. Uh, it, it's this technology that's like brand new. And obviously, you know, having the entire plethora of ecosystem that you guys are building is amazing. NFT studio, I think is great. Obviously token generation, you're going to need that if, you know, you plan on doing everything on the blockchain. So obviously you guys thought of all of the ecosystem and how, you know, powerful you need it to be and how it works together. So, I mean, it, it's amazing. Obviously I don't have really much to say on that. I just wanted, you know, my, my uh, community to kind of understand what you guys have built up to date and what you guys are, are finishing your final touches on. So I, obviously that's amazing. Um, so next obviously is not a huge, we don't have to have a huge segment on it, but obviously with this kind of technology that's pretty new, uh, and I, I like to touch a little bit on your guys' approach to security and maybe auditing. Have you guys done some big major auditing on your platform and or have you done hackathons or anything major uh, within your DFs to kind of like, yeah, you know, see if there's any loopholes or anything that those those really savvy uh, hackers that, that help uh, help us help, develop help your product have been there. Sure. Um, so... I of course, the security is uh, one of the main uh, aspects. And for that reason, we are working and collaborate with Aken and Certic, so one of the, the most notable name in the market. So forever, always uh, double check about the quality of the code. And uh, besides that, we will have a proof of developer or no can just uh, do bounty program testing until we are sure everything is working smooth, the security is fine, and we will uh, uh, give a, a reward for all the people who have contributed to helping us to launch the best application. So uh, the security will come with the community and with a veteran developer together. Yeah, you know, I, I, I didn't really have, you know, too much concern, obviously, um, I, I will, say this 100% to give, you know, the reputation to bull perks and, and what they do that they don't touch, you know, obviously, uh, you know, products that, that are questionable. So, uh, you know, obviously it was just something that, that I, I like to cover on new technology mainly because this is in my eyes, some crazy technology that's new. So it's, it's hundred percent wonderful that you and Certech are in partnership or in collaboration to make sure that everything is hundred percent secure. Obviously they are number one, you know, in reputation in this space. And it's just good to have, you know, a name like that you know, as your auditor. So, you know, and I appreciate you, you know, you kind of 
you know, exploring that with me because I know that that's, you know, a question that not a lot of, you know, I don't like to bring it up too much because everybody knows in the space, you know, if you're working with the big dogs like bull perks and you guys are coming to crypto miners, usually everybody is just pretty secure. So I'm not trying to, you know, spend too much time on it. But I think that's just something that it's just good to hear from the, you know, CEO himself. So it's wonderful. Um, you know, now, you know, I, I don't want to get too far into like alpha or anything crazy, but, you know, what do you, what do you see? You know, I don't know, it's hard to explain the question, but like during your roadmap and how do you see the development? If everything goes the way it is and your milestones are all achieved over the next six months, 12 months, where do you see taking the next step for Codex? Because you've already been building, obviously, the entire ecosystem to what is the necessary part. But is there anything else that you're thinking on the side that you want to build into it that you've, you know, you know, obviously maybe you've announced a little bit, but just aren't focused on just something that they, they kind of get get a little bit of uh, mouth water on what to show that this is not just going to be here. We're building it and we're, we're, we're done development, but, you know, the kind of long term development plans that you really do have feasible for yourself. Sure. So uh, I will divide in uh, product and uh, general feature for the ecosystem. So first of all, we will introduce the staking with uh, all the the working ecosystem full DAO based. So will be a voting power. So people need to stake the token for uh, voting power. We will introduce the proof of contribution and all the uh, payment system related for, uh, uh, for example, crowdfunding for a project they can decide to do via token, via equity and so on. So we offering a decentralized way to raise capital for an early stage project. In terms of product, FT Studio, the marketplace for founding the DApp, and Codex GPT will launch very soon. So that's a little bit the roadmap for the next uh, 12 months. All right. <clears throat> that, that's obviously wonderful. Um, one thing that I like to also touch on, it's obviously a little small thing, but uh, with an ecosystem like yours and the, and the amount of scalability that you, you know, you're looking to, to really push with you know, bull perks at your side and everything, do you guys have any major campaigns going on or, or any big uh, community drivers that are kind of just helping drive the early adoption uh, that maybe we, we, we can be notifying our community and kind of just kind of help push that FOMO and activities? Because I know how that kind of helps grow marketing organically by spreading the word overall. So I'd just like to know maybe you could touch on any community activities or campaigns that you have active so that, you know, we can get some of our community members over there and, if, and uh, you know, start, start kind of engaging as soon as possible. Um, yeah, sure. Um, certainly, there are multiple ways for developers or solo founders or entrepreneurs or users can get involved with Codex. Um, for, for example, we have ambassador program. So uh, anyone who are interested to join the ambassador program can earn reward by sharing their referral code. So anyone who shared their referral code and then when a user use it, you can get um, a reward, a CDX token can uh, be one of the earning from your uh, code. And then uh, second is the, we because we just launching our project and then we also collaborate with layer one, layer two, layer zero ecosystem. And then with this, we are doing the co-pilot project together with this uh, ecosystem. So, and we don't put any limitation. And although we have some of, uh, some of the project that already on board, but if anyone here, anyone who wanna build on chain and you guys have lack of development, never hesitate to contact us because with Codex, you can build anything. It doesn't matter if it is DeFi, NFT, gaming, AI, whatsoever, we are here to help you. And then lastly is the one that Andrea mentioned earlier about the proof of contribution that we will provide it um, within uh, six, eight months is um, where anyone can get benefit from our ecosystem. And it doesn't really matter about the developer as well because uh, we with the proof of contribution, even if you are a marketer, even if you are legal team, uh, developers, token engineering, and more, you can contribute within this uh, proof of contribution because we will be the marketplace and connecting between this dot. 
So uh, that's uh, several stuff that we can do together in terms of uh, how to earn something or uh, from Codex. And again, uh, like I mentioned earlier, Codex is not limited just for developer-centric initiatives, but extend its support to various industry, including product, marketing, finance, legal. And we just want to make sure that, you know, the only thing that stops you is yourself. So do not limit yourself. If you want to build something on chain, just do it. If you do not have team, use Codex because we are here to help you guys. And the only person that can stop you to build something, it's yourself. We are here to give, um, you know, the help, the support that we can do. At the end of the day, we are just infrastructure. And the only thing that can make you success is yourself. Also, just to add on top of this, we do have some campaigns together between Codex and Bullperks in regards to whitelist spots and other giveaways. And we also will be starting to deploy very soon all the influencers. So expect a lot of noise coming soon. You 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 literally pulled the words right out of my mouth, Aaron, because I went to Bullparks and I did my research right now too, just, just to double check that I didn't miss anything, and I did. And it's pinned up to the top. They have a Zealy campaign uh, for the wireless spots, and that's going to you know obviously get you you know in a good position to get in there. And obviously, if you don't, you're obviously going to learn and get educated on how to participate overall by joining. So that's something that you know if you are interested in you know getting some possibility whitelist and, and, and rewards. This is why you guys do it right here. So go ahead and just click it and get into it. But obviously wait till after this AMA because we're about to get into questions here uh, within the next 10 or 15 minutes. So definitely would love uh, <clears throat> my community to go check it out and kind of drive that FOMO. And obviously you, you heard that the marketing, the influencers, all that massive stuff that's gonna be happening as we drive the FOMO up um, you know, to the launch of everything. It, it's going to be happening. So this is obviously early. Get in there, check it out. Try to get your wireless spot. I really do hope you know as crypto miners get in there uh, and, and get our opportunity early because that's the best time, obviously. So really do appreciate you touching on that. Um, and with that said, I mean we we kind of touched on ninety percent of uh, what I wanted to participate or, or on the questions on here. And before we get into participation questions, I would wonder if maybe you guys want to touch a little bit on. Uh, what the bull perks uh, campaign is going right now? Not not, not the campaign, but the actual uh, IDO, so that people that are bull perks uh, uh, community members already, but have missed it, maybe can get a little information and they can get over there and start staking and make sure that that they're ready for the IDO. So basically, the IDO will be on the twenty third of January, and the way it works is. You have a few options to get in. Either you hold a tier with bull perks, and those tiers are decided by the amount of tokens you have and you staked. Or if you want to try and get not with a tier, then you have to try and win a whitelist spot in our one of our campaigns. So hopefully your community Wonderful. will try and join codex ideal and if not yeah 100 percent. always buy it on the market afterwards totally agree um you know in, in this time in, in this market i would say don't sit on great platforms great teams and also look at the teams that are backing those teams obviously having both works behind them in the in, you know, in this time in this market you know as much as we've had some movement it's still a shaky market so having great teams, great partnerships, and great movement, great tech with a great team behind it just is the powerful movement. I, I, I constantly praise my community members for being smart you know, um, investors, but I always try to push that narrative where you don't just look at the product. You have to look at the teams and the people back in the team because that overall ecosystem shows how strong what you're purchasing really is. And in and, and this time of day, you don't want to be making bad decisions and fumbling incorrectly. So obviously... I would say go check out the, the IDO if, if you're really interested in getting in early is always the best. Um, and the entire platform sit there to reward you and to obviously reward new people coming in. So it's a no brainer. I believe, you know, obviously with no financial advice and all, but I believe they're going to do very well from launch and continue on and setting themselves up, you know, within that six to eight month period before the real big movement comes. 
uh, you know, in the crypto overall market, just gives them real great time to build great community, see what kind of platforms are going to be built out, and then their ecosystems can be built out, uh, you know, flourishing. So I'm just really excited to have you guys here today, you know, and, and telling us about that. So, you know, do you have maybe a last call to action or something else that you might want to touch on before we move into community questions? I always like to give you, you know, five or 10 minutes if there's anything we might have missed or something that you believe is going to be a huge takeaway for the community that we might have not touched on. I'll let Andrea maybe answer that. I'll just add that, you know, we see a lot of projects as bull perks. We get a lot of projects. A lot of them are hyped, especially things connected with AI. The problem is most projects that we see AI are not really AI projects. They're more like a wrapper of a chat GPT or something like that. And it's just hype and nothing more than that. So maybe short term, you know, it will do well we will have the hype, but after a couple months, it will be dead. This project, I mean, like you said, that screenshot that you can actually take a screenshot of a website, no matter how complicated it is. And we actually saw it in action because they took a screenshot of our website and translated it into code, which, you know, would have saved us one and a half years of development if we could have just done it. Uh, otherwise, with this kind of, you know, software. So, so yeah, so I believe that, you know, you need to separate between real projects and real companies and just pure hype. We will build the hype with the launch pads and the influencer. We will build the hype, but we actually have a real product and a real team here. That's the difference. Well said. Before you go real quick, I'm great. Andre, I want, I want to give kudos because he always comes in here and every time I hear him, he, he drops it. So he, he always drop a really good, you know, kind of information to the community. And I just, I love that. I want to give you kudos to that because 100% true. Like I was saying earlier, all that other chat GPT or no code stuff was like just kind of the hype and movement. And when you really see something solid that's utilizing, you know, not the idea, but actually building infrastructure that, that actually can be able to perform with that idea and like that technology about the snapshot that's already been used in performance and it did that well astounding i i really have no doubt that what you guys are building the people coming in are going to see what you guys have and they're going to stick to it and they're going to it's going to be no brown brainer it's going to allow the ecosystem to not only flourish and develop but it's also going to uh, allow new users that had no idea that they can be able to become developers you know come in and i think it's amazing so 100 percent agree right there and uh you know if 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 uh, <clears throat> as soon as you're done, Andre, I already have a question ready, and you know, yeah, obviously, yeah, I don't, don't want to leave the, the two more. But go ahead and speak about the last minute. Yes, uh, just like to add uh, maybe the just short last point. Everything we build until now is done uh, between me and Ika uh, alone. So I could everything myself, and Ika take care to the marketing, because we decide to build for three months only without taking care of the market the user because we believe the product can speak for us and in the right moment we just show off uh, to the right partner like bull perks uh, what we have done and the marketing can be built very fast if you have a solid product so that's uh, just uh, advice for a uh, uh, future project to focus to your uh, main target is the product after you can build amazing uh, marketing over it that's uh, my advice thank you 100 percent agree and that's amazing that you have built this obviously you and you know and, and your co-founder here really brought an amazing product together but that that's without being said an amazing feat and a huge milestone. So I'm I'm highly impressed with everything you were built before I even got to AMA, you guys, and really got introduced on what you guys are building. And knowing that Bull Perks, obviously, I know is a reputable uh, ideal platform, and not just that they they don't work with with bull crap. I, I just I hands down know that I've seen what they've been pushing, I've seen what they've been able to launch, and other plat uh, you know other platforms been able to go within their ecosystem. So I have no doubt that you guys are going to do very well. It's exciting, and I and I do like that. Like you know. 
obviously you don't want to push hype before you build a product you built your product then you're like okay now it's time to really build the, the ecosystem the marketing everything uh, you know the scalability behind it with your community so i definitely agree with build and they will come kind of aspect versus the you know give them a vision and then they show up and, it, and it, it's not what they expected so i definitely definitely love how you you, you kind of took that approach on your own vision with the business kind of approach so it's 100 percent smart so you know i would love to get into community questions if you guys are ready uh, i have one already cut, um, in, in, that was in the um, in the comments that i picked just to kind of start things off sure let's go all right so one thing that, that <clears throat> it, it's in there is it's asking are you guys chain agnostic? Are you, you know, fully EVM compatible so that if they want to yeah, develop, develop on different, different chains? Chain. Yes. So uh, we are chain agnostic. So we start in AVM, but we will work with Cosmos. We already work with ICP. We will introduce Ton and so on. So uh, the, because one of the key part of our, our te AI technology is code translating. So we can convert Rust to Solidity, a Solidity to Rust, and so on. So uh, we have a way to integrate and in building a Web3. Well, that's awesome. <clears throat> Obviously, now I thought you were going to give me a, a, a lot more complicated you know, answer, and you were actually said it very well. And uh, I, I think they kind of got it because like, even I was like kind of wondering how, how it would work. And yeah, obviously, you guys thought of this a lot before you know, the, the communities even would be able to ask that kind of question. So let me get a live question up here to ask. I thought that would have been a little one to stump you a little bit more. But no, you guys, you guys definitely are ready for everything we could provide you. So, Let's try someone, let's try Alicia. I have not heard you before, and let's see if you can um, give us a good question today, guys. And then I'll pick one more in the comments, and then we'll get a couple more live. Let's see if Twitter will let them come, though. I've proved them, like, multiple times already. There we go. Whenever you're unmuted, go ahead with your question. You should be good to go to unmute whenever you're ready, Alicia. Are you there, Alicia? You're the speaker. I'm not sure if you have a connection issue, but you can unmute. All right, I'm going to have to move on to another person. Sorry about that. One one difficult about Twitter. That's one thing I do miss about uh, Telegram being the main place. But uh, I'm glad I'm on Twitter. But this is always the issue right here is getting to unmute. Wise, I'm unmuting you. Go ahead and ask your question whenever it pulls you up. If it allows you to. There it goes. And I'm going to go ahead and remove you as speaker, Alicia. Hello. Um, this is Wise. Go ahead with your question whenever you're ready. We can hear you loud and clear. Oh, okay. So my question goes to um, Codex, um, to Codex Chain. So I just wanted to know, um, seeing how, you know, they've made um, building on, building dApps easy. So I wanted to know for um, a crypto enthusiast that, um, you know, just starting on the blockchain industry, do you have like, um, let's say tutorial videos or like a guide on how, they can go about it that like users that have interest on in building something do you have like a guide or tutorials that they can go through to understand how they can create apps on the using your platform sure um 100 so first of all we have a, a chatbot assistant that can help you uh to reply a uh, Anderson of to use any product. So you just type uh, uh, try to asking uh, what you need and the chatbot will uh, reply with the most information you needed. And uh, of course we will provide as well um, YouTube video and uh, similar to
for helping uh, the development process. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. I'm still scrolling through the 80 something comments right now. So I'll go ahead and pick one more live question before I, I do another comment. I'm trying to re get a really, really good one, but I'm sure it won't stump you. Let's get Hermit up here. Go ahead and speak whenever you're ready, buddy. Go ahead and mute up for me, wise, just so we don't get no back feedback. No. I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead and speak whenever you're ready. So, um, can you hear me clearly? Yeah, go ahead with your question, buddy. Okay, okay, yes. I wanted to ask, but initially, light has been given to the question I was asking. I think I asked in the comment session, I was trying to know how can individuals with limited, limited coding experience, how can they create sophisticated apps? And I think what educational resources are available, but I think you guys have answered in regards to the tutorials, but in regards to the sophisticated app, just like Ika I said, that anything is possible, nothing is limited. Why is it possible? Thank you. Oh, okay. I try to reply in a simple way. Uh, you can start to building. It can be just a simple web page, can be a Python-based application, can be a simple game like Snake, everything you like to start in. And after, the AI drive you to the next process. So if you want to integrate a MetaMask, you just start to integrate. And after you, you need to develop some smart contract, you go to other tools allow you to integrate and develop smart contract and so on. So until complex, depending of you. But the process for building is just a normal text chat with a live preview of your product where you can interact and modify in real time until you found exactly what you want. I hope this can answer your question. Yes, yes. In fact, I'm so glad about the chat AI that can help with standards and assistance. Thank you so much. Um, I'm satisfied. Welcome. Thank you. Great question. Great question. Great answer. I'm just going to go with live questions. Uh, some of the, the comments are kind of uh, just jumping off each other and stuff that we've already covered. So I'm just going to keep us on the live questions. I'll, I'll pull a couple more up. That. that was obviously an awesome question and a really good answer. Um, th that, that's kind of the, the idea is that you're kind of taking all of the pains of uh, the ecosystem now and allowing anybody to develop and be a part of the ecosystem. So, you know, overall, this is something that's a necessity, I believe, for the infrastructure and growth of crypto. Dax, I just uh, approved you to speak. Go ahead with your question whenever you're ready. I really do appreciate it. Hello. Go ahead with your question whenever you're ready. Okay, my question is, um, how do you plan on um, attracting more users into your project? Do you have like a local communities where people can join um, and know more about your project? Uh, hey, Dax, thank you for uh, the question. Um, yes, uh, how do we attract um, more users is like obviously first with our strategic partners, like um, for example, with the ecosystem that we partner or with the launchpad that we are partnering because I believe um, some of them want to build something on chain, right? They can just uh, proposing to us. And then, um, yes, we do have ambassadors right now. Uh, we have about... Um, 10 representative different countries in each region that 
can help um, the users to localize uh, the language because we believe that not everyone speak um, English friendly. Even I, uh, English is not my mother language. I'm from Indonesia and we do have Indonesian ambassador. The same way we, we have a Nigerian, Italian um, and and more. And yeah, this is uh, one of the strategy that we will have. Uh, obviously, uh, I will repeat again first with um, the partnership that we have and then second with the ambassador that we are building. So I hope it answers your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for your for your answer. Yeah, it was obviously a great answer. Really do appreciate uh, you know you kind of answering that because as much as I I, I love uh, community growth and marketing, it, it, it's kind of one of those questions that are like, eh. but you obviously answered it really well, and I really do you know appreciate uh, the the question from you, Dax. And I think it was a first time for you, so I appreciate you raising your hand, being brave, and coming to ask question. I have another first timer. His name is My Heart BTC. Let's get a really good question here, and we can finish out the community questions. And go ahead and speak whenever you're approved, whenever Twitter allows you to. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, my name has really been a very wonderful uh, AMA. And then uh, my question to uh, the project, uh, CODES project is, uh, do you uh, kind of plan to, uh, uh, well, what's it called? Plan to write your white paper in other languages apart from English so you can get more community that are, are not English speaking uh, countries to understand and engage more with your project? Uh, sorry, could you repeat the question? It was not clear on my end. Okay, like your white paper is written in English, right? So I want to know if you have plans to like write your uh, white paper in other languages like Italian, like uh, uh, African, like uh, Japanese and other languages so uh, we can get more users to engage with your project from those countries. Um, yes, yes, uh, like I mentioned earlier, um, I believe not everyone can speak uh, very well English. This is uh, the reason why we are, we are building ambassador is to localize and educate um, the community from their own region. For example, with the Indonesian uh, ambassador we have, uh, they're helping to localize and then uh, educate the Indonesian communities the same way with the Nigerian or um, with, uh, I believe also Italian we do have as well Russian. and. That's the thing because, yeah, I hope it can really help to uh, localize and uh, building the community. Well, that is good. Uh, can I also ask one more question, please? Sure. Okay, uh, can you tell us about your marketing uh, plans and how you plan to like uh, uh, pass your uh, project onto the non, especially uh, crypto users? Uh huh. That's that's actually a very good question. Uh, I'm not sure if Andrea already mentioned this, but one of our product is actually building plugin on Web two space. What does it mean? So we are building um plugin to Bubble, and soon we'll um integrate with Canva, Figma, as well Chrome extension. So even Web two users can using Codex and can build on chain without them needed to understand about blockchain because think about it canva have 500 million monthly users chrome even more so that's how we are actually leveraging our technology to web 2 users so even web 2 user now can build on chain using codex without them needed to understand about web3 space i hope it's answer your question Oh, that is very wonderful. I really love that, and I wish you guys all the best. Yeah, you know what? I can't say that better myself. That was actually a really great answer because um, I actually hate always asking that. What's your future marketing plans? Blah blah blah. But you actually, you know, you nailed that right on Ted because you didn't give the normal over. Oh, you know, we're AMA, we're doing that. You actually gave the value to what a lot of people miss on what true marketing is. It's reaching the people that have no idea what blockchain is. 
Obviously, we want to make sure that people in the ecosystem understand what the blockchain is and how to utilize the blockchain. <clears throat> so the ease of access is great, but that's only like a small percentage of the world. So having that utilized in Canva and Chrome is going to just be an extension to a mass scalability for your guys' marketing. I know I use Canva on a daily. So, you know, having that codex being built on there, be able to take my my Canva and turn it into stuff on the blockchain is going to be huge, especially for when the NFT, uh, you know, suite is fully built and ready and launched. Being able to integrate that with your Canva, build art and have it on chain with ease of access like that is it's just exceptional value that nobody really is, is, is seeing and you guys you guys are on top of it already ready to do it so that it's freaking awesome like i i really can't say it much more than that. like that's what i seen right when you said that i was like wow that that just opens the door for even more developers there's people that don't want to develop an actual project but they don't mind developing an nft run and doing an art project that way and launching that way so like literally just opens up the doors and accessibility for your guys' ecosystem, it's, it's huge. So with that said, do you guys have any last minute call to actions or anything you wanna cover? Anything that we might've missed that, you know, that, that you know, you might've been brought up by now uh, that we wanna come on? I know I have a, a, excuse me, a closing statement that I'm gonna say, um, obviously in the end, and I always say, uh, community, if, if you are enthralled by the power of this ecosystem like I am, I, I implore you to go to their website, Join the community, join their socials, make sure you hit those notifications on and you're ready to take advantage of the ecosystem as it's being released at your hands. Because, I mean, you can't pass up technology like this when you you miss so much good technology out there. When you see something like this, you make sure you do your re research, you do your due diligence, you get in there and you be a part of the ecosystem that I believe is going to. I believe, in, in, you know, obviously, I always say not financial advice, but I believe this is a technology that's needed in the space. So I'm going to be utilizing it and I'm going to be checking it out at every point. So I, I think it's huge. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have some last minute things you want to talk about, like a call to action or something that we might have missed, go ahead. I'm giving you guys a little bit extra couple minutes, obviously, because we had some major technical stuff in the beginning. And I hated that that uh, kind of held us up. Sure. Uh, first of all, um, again, I would like to say thank you for um, crypto miners to have this um, AMA as well. Big special thanks to Bullparks and Iran uh, to have really, you know, great effort for us to having this. And yeah, um, guys, really do not limit yourself. Just keep building because it's all about execution, right? Stop dreaming, start execution. That's my call to action. Thank you I love for the credits. And obviously we always like to try and support, you know, good entrepreneurs, people that actually build and trying to build something real with a future and sustainability. And obviously we call all your community to come and join us in the IDO, whether you hold a tier or whether you're trying to get through a whitelist, feel free to join and obviously follow the project. And thank you very much for hosting us. No, I really do appreciate it. And yes, I, I agree. Uh, 100%. Uh, it, there, there's a lot of stuff out there and there's not very many great entrepreneurs and great projects that, that have, uh, you know, the vision and the long term uh, uh, utilities here that, that are being developed that, that really can set you to the future. And so if you guys are interested and you guys have been listening, you guys have been falling in love, you better check the idea because if you kick yourself in the butt because you missed it and you had the opportunity because you've been you are minor here then that's only your fault. You can't say we didn't tell you. So, you know, there's a chance for you to get a whitelist and there's a chance for you to get in uh, with the, your tears. Regardless of it, you should be looking at it and, and and looking at this as an option. You know, do your research, obviously. But I always look at great products, great teams to really push, you know, the next level in, 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 in development. And I, I will say infrastructure that's going to help sustain crypto into the future because everybody knows that, you know, the Web2 space and, and the, the old school uh, banking system is crumbling under its own feet so let's build great products let's get everybody to kind of understand and build great products and i think that codex is really standing in the forefront of understanding how to do that so like i i i say wow so you know crypto miners i really hope that you guys have been wild like i was i mean that was mind-blowing code free fly to the future you got web 2 
development at the ease of access, a full suite of utilities that can just skyrocket your creativity. But not only that, they're setting themselves apart. So even if you're not a huge on development or one development, just being in this ecosystem and supporting the team that's building something that I believe is going to help grow the future of crypto is a no-brainer to me. So I'm going to be looking at even trying to swipe a, a whitelist spot for myself, um, even though I'm a tier holder, so I'm not really worried about it. But, you know, it, it's just fun to, to help engage and drive the marketing over on the farm and, and the FOMO. So I really do hope that my, my community member jumps in and really and really, you know, does what they can to really help this team and support the team because I think they're building the future. They just overall. So regardless with if you have coding skills or not, this is the type of development uh, tool set that you would need to, you know, to be able to skyrocket your career in crypto because everybody's looking for the new way out. And I believe crypto is still so early that if you get in now, you build something, you have a great chance to be staying in crypto for a long time. So with that, dude, with that said, I really do appreciate you guys coming in and showcasing this, this product. I mean, obviously this is not something that I can just have a one hour AMA and tell everything about it. Um, obviously we, we covered 90% of it and understanding it, but the best way to really understand a product is go jumping into their website, jump into their DM, understand the product, start utilizing the ecosystem right now to the best of your abilities and get ready for that ideal platform. Uh, you know, that, with that being said, I really do appreciate having you guys here. Um, and if you guys don't have any last thing, you know, to say or, or last call to action other than that, uh, that'd be it for us today. Thank you. And I really do appreciate you guys' the time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this space. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a good day.